day, guys. Welcome back, Tazzy Coin Hunter. Well, it's that investment folder again. So I've been doing a little bit of work on this investment folder. It's been getting bigger. And I just wanted to talk about another one of the coins. 50 cent pieces. We go to the back. So, these are my 1966 round 50 cent pieces. Um, I wasn't going to put them into my collection as investments, but to be honest, that's what I bought them for. So all these ones here, I picked up for $10 each. Now, at the moment in Hobart, they're about $15 each. And I think they are about eleven dollars twenty or thirty. Eleven dollars twenty, eleven dollars eleven, twelve. Over eleven dollars I think melt. So at the moment. So yeah. One day I'll sell these if they go up and can make a profit. So it is part of my investments. Long term investments, the nineteen sixty six, the first fifty cent piece. Only made these for one year. And then they stopped because the price of silver went up. So these are 80% silver, and junk silver, a lot of people call them. And yeah, I quite like them. Very much a favourite of the coin hunter. But I can't buy them cheap at the moment, so I don't bother. So, so I paid $10 for each one. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 coins, $10 each. You can get fifteen dollars each from great. So yeah, they go in my investment folder. Nineteen sixty six round fifty cent pieces. They're not low mintage by any means. They're just eighty percent silver makes them collectible. So if you're new new to coin and collecting and you want to get one or two for your collection, do it. They're a beautiful coin, worth having in your collection. But these are all in my investment folder. So these one day I hope to sell for a profit. But anyway, that was just a quick one on the 1966 round 50 cent pieces. Um, yeah, if you find them cheap, buy them. If I find them under around that ten dollar mark, I'll buy them. But I don't think they'll go down that low anymore. I think everyone here wants everyone tells you wants fifteen dollars each. But if I see them somewhere on Gumtree or Facebook or one group. Cheap, I'll buy them and put more away for the future, guys. It's all about the future, so um, really appreciate um, all the feedback from my live stream the other day. People watching, people giving me the thumbs up. Over 200 subscribers. I'm very happy how the channel's going, and yeah, just really appreciate all the feedback I've been getting, guys. So really appreciate it. So thank you to all you out there. You make this worthwhile. All right, so. I guess I don't want to make this a long video, but collect the 1950, 1966 round 50 cent piece if you see them at a good price, but don't pay silly money for them. I mean, as I said, they're $15 each now. I'm not paying $15 each for them. I could pick them up for 10 maybe 11 I would buy more, but how many would I collect? I don't know, I love them, so I'd probably collect hundreds if I could. Anyway. That's it, just a quick one on the 1966, round 50 cent piece. I think there was 38 million of them minted or something, and they're 80% silver. And they're an awesome coin. Alright guys, take it easy, Tazzy Coin Hunter out. Remember to like and subscribe. Let's keep this channel growing, people. Cheers.